everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get and play Pokemon on your phone. You're going to need to go to the App Store. Search in the App Store Flash Browser. Now, the app is not called this, but Puffin Web Browser is the one you'll choose. is the first thing that will come up on here. Don't choose any of the other ones. Choose the free one as well and download the app. Make sure you don't pay get the paid one. Now, you're going to want to go into the app, Puffin Web Browser, free. You're going to see this, which is just a loading screen. Then it will be this, and you're going to want to hit start. It loads, and it loads. Yeah, then you're going to see a login screen. Don't log in. Just go to the top left corner and exit out. Now, you're going to see this. Don't do anything with that. Top left corner and exit out. Now, you're going to see this page. This page is what you want. You're going to want to go to the search chart at the top and search what I have put in there for you. Play R. Do not put .com. It doesn't work. Now, when you search this, the first thing that will come up is the one you want to choose. Now, this is what it will look like if you scroll to the right a little bit. You're going to want to choose Log In in the top right. Now, don't log in. Just click the thing that is highlighted on the screen. Click here to sign up. This is what it will look like. You're going to want to put in your information. I just put in some random eight information for you right here. And, yeah, then you're going to gonna want to create your account. You can choose a game that's on here, or you can go to this and choose different ones. But, I'm going to play Pokemon Yellow right now. I actually have an account for this, so I have saves and stuff. But, yeah. So, now you're going to want to go down to this thing on the right side of the screen. You can slide it up and move it. You're going to want to tap the three dots that were on it. And now, after that, you're going to look at the bottom of it and tap the gamepad thing. Then this stuff shall appear. Now tap the gear that's in the side of it. And you're going to be able to change it, by the way. Now you're going to want to change them to be that, that you just saw. Then after that, hit full screen. And turn it sideways, of course. Now this is full screen. Now what you're going to want to do now is tap the three dots that are still on the side and choose gamepad again. Now that you've done that, the gamepad is on your full screen. Tap the big symbol in the middle. Now the game is playing, and you're ready to go. You can actually play the game without an account, but you cannot save. So, if you want to save, you have to have an account. And by saving, I will show you how to do that right now. Now, in order to save, you're going to want to exit full screen by tapping the X above the three dots. Then... It'll show this, and you just basically, you hit saves, and if you're logged in, you hit save game. And then you can load or save your game. I hope you guys found this useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. Share this with your friends, because they probably don't want to jailbreak their phone. And I'm sorry that this was just a bunch of screenshots instead of an actual video, but there's no way to record your screen on an Apple device without break, jailbreak, bleh, jailbreaking your phone. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this able to actually follow. Um, if you did not, then please tell me and I'll, like, do something, I don't know. But, yeah, you can do this on your computer as well. The reason you need this app is because it has Adobe Flash Player, and it supports all the games and stuff, and people want to play games, so the creators actually put this here. Now, you can use this app for other things because it's just able to browse the internet on your phone as if you're on a computer. So, you could also use this app to, like, let's say, edit your YouTube channel, which you could normally only do on a computer, or, like, give videos, custom thumbnails on YouTube. It's very useful for YouTube on the go. And it's very useful for a lot of other things as well. It's also way faster than Safari. Like, way faster. Um, it's really it. All the stuff that you could download the, to um, your phone on Safari, 
that you can't download to your computer. Even though this thinks you're on a computer, well, the app is as if you're on a computer, but you're on your phone, you can still download stuff to your phone. So that's really freaking cool. I don't know what an account would do, because I've pretty much done everything I could possibly want to do on this. And I don't possibly, I can't even fathom what the paid version could do, because, I mean, you have all of the internet avail available to you right here with the free version, which is just amazing. And, yeah, you can just, you can do whatever you want. You can browse the internet. It's faster than Safari. Annotations work on it because it's as, it's as if you're on a computer. It's amazing. I don't know why Safari just isn't like this, but it's not. And this app is just awesome. So get it. It's free. Share this video. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Haven't done that in a while.